Welcome to Beer Native. My name is Steve Jaguer, and this is the first beer review. So if you're watching this from the future, A, I might look younger, but also you may not even realize that this is the actual very first one I ever did. So it could be terrible. We'll know if we go through time and we look at some of the ones later on where I'm doing it in a tighter way. We're going to find out if I got better or not. Maybe I got a cool, sexy background or a green screen. I don't know. Things might improve as time goes on, but for now, we're going to be pretty raw with it. You're probably also wondering, if you look at the pinned post, which explains my scoring mechanism, I'm wearing all the same clothes. So I've done these two in the same day. The first beer. Is it special? Yes and no, you know? Not really. I chose it because I have a beer fridge just here. Right off screen is a fridge. You can hear it. And I pulled the first beer that was at the front of it out, and I'm going to show it to you now. There we go. It is Brewdog Citrus Sessionale Clockwork Tangerine. So let's start with my, my beer rating system. The packaging. It's a can. Pretty normal can. Pull tab feels pretty standard. Yeah, that's, I would just say it's a can. It's a normal can. I'm going to go with a middle of the road three. It does, I've had some really bad pull tabs lately, and... They just, you know, you know, you know that worst thing that can happen when you pull the pull tab off and the tab comes off and you can't get into the can? Ah, that's that's a beer nightmare. So we're going to give it a three on packaging. On art, I like that BrewDog is consistent now because even though they change their packaging or their, their design, I should say, occasionally, it kind of does everything I need. It's got some of the important elements that I like. Like I like to... What's the experience going to be like? Yeah, okay, it's a tangerine session IPA. I can see the alcohol content. That always bothers me when I have to hunt for that. And I've got all the other kind of pieces I might need to the puzzle so that I don't have to dig too hard. Actually, in fact, the alcohol content's on here twice. I really like that. So I'll probably give it a three and a half. Yeah, let's go three and a half on art. It's not spectacular, but it's not terrible. They're obviously trying. In terms of uniqueness, flavor, accuracy, and flavor, well, we got to open the darn thing, don't, don't we? So let's get cracking. Boom, that's a good catchphrase. I should write that on the website. Now, I highly recommend when you're tasting a beer, drink it out of the can, then pour it in a glass and drink some out of the glass. It's a different experience, and you kind of want to get both, right? So I'll start with the first hit straight out of the can. And my initial reaction is that I like it, which is great. We're on our way. You'd think I would have had this one before by now. But there's a lot of different selections from this particular brewery. This uh, brew dog is based up in, I believe, Aberdeen, Scotland. They claim to be the ones that started it all in terms of uh, craft beer in the United Kingdom, at the very least. Certainly not in North America. But, yeah, they, they, they do have a reputation, and it's arguably pretty warranted. Yeah, that's okay. So now I'm going to pour it into the glass so I can see what it looks like and catch more of the smell. This is one of my favorite glasses. It's my Bruges Zot one I got from uh, Bruges in Belgium. And if memory serves, I may have accidentally stolen this glass. So hopefully, I still have it. It's delicious. It's got kind of an orangey look. I don't know if that's because of the orange they drop in it, but I like it. It's a good color, good head. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely better out of a glass because you get the full nose scent uh but i would say if i'm going to break it down let's do accuracy first it's a tangerine ipa i love tangerines but i'm not entirely sure i would call, say it tastes like a tangerine tangerine has a, a tartness maybe it lends itself more towards a sour and i don't think i'm necessarily getting that so i'd probably give it like a three on accuracy it's definitely orangey but that's a bit generic. Also, it kind of has a medicinal element to it. Like when I was a kid, we had this terrible orange medicine called triaminic. Ugh. And I think in the second hit, I got a little bit of that. It made me kind of feel it's a little sweeter, whereas IPAs I tend to feel like are a bit bitter. That I would enjoy one, but not two. You know, you ever get the beers like that? Like they start great and then they kind of start to rub you the wrong way. So we're going to give it a three on accuracy. We're going to give it a beer uniqueness. Um, I'll give it a three and a half on u uniqueness and a three and a half on flavor. Uh, oh, no, flavors out of, out of 10. If I, I should watch my own video. 
Flavor, I'm going to give it a 7. I like it. Yeah, 7. It's good. All right. So there we go. Let's, let's just hold on. Okay, let's just summarize that out now. I gave it 7 for flavor, 3 for packaging, 3 for art. I gave it a 4 for uniqueness. I changed that. And a 3 for accuracy, because it's kind of medicinal, not very refreshing and tangerine-y. And that gives me an overall score of 3.33, which actually... I think that's pretty fair for this one. This is not my favorite ever. It's not terrible. If someone bought me a case of this and said, Steve, you got to drink this all day, I'd be like, all right, yeah, that's, uh, I can do that. All right, thanks for watching. This has been the very first ever Beer Native Beer Review. I'm Steve Jaguer, and hopefully many.